strong box. Hey, Alibi, when's that chuck going to be ready? I'm stopped. Guys, I'd rather try to fill a silo than you, Craig. You just had breakfast a while ago. If that was breakfast, I'm a midget. Ah, you stir this a little bit faster, you'll get done sooner. <laughs> hey, you big ape. Keep your mitts out of our food. I can't eat cooked fingers. Just for that, you don't get any. I'll sure be glad when Snowflake gets here, Craig. He's a real cook. Come in. Danny! Another class, how about it? What happened, Danny? I was talking, wait, get some water. Relax, Danny, take it easy. Oh, this isn't too serious. Hurry, Alibi! Well, we've got to stop that bleeding. It's a fine way to start out on the job. Great. Take it easy, Dennis. We'll have you fixed up in no time. Check. I think you'll lift any. 
see those numbers of shots. Then get set for him, Craig. We'll hide Denny up in the rap. Get rid of that stuff. You come with me, Hoggy. Don't take any chances. Shoot first and ask questions later. Property very much, do you? Who are you and what do you want? Well, I'm heading up a party of vigilantes. We were chasing a desperate criminal. Does this county have a sheriff? Why, yes. But in name only. He's worse than none at all. Suppose you tell us now what this is all about. Well, the state clerk was just held up and the payroll for the boss stock mine was taken. You got on the damn trail kind of quick, didn't you? Why, well, yes, we did. You see, I got a tip off. We were patrolling the road. We got there a little late. We trailed one of the bandits up here. You mind if I look around? No, not when you put it that way. Where does this go, Lee? Really? Oh, uh, this. This leads out the back way. Well, maybe you'd better take a look around. Might make you feel easier. That out of the line, Jack, isn't it? That's right. We're friends of his. But he must be strangers and sparks. I've never seen you around before. Oh, we're up here buying some breeding cattle. My name is Wilson. Better known as Pharaoh. See, I run a little Pharaoh bank at the last dollar saloon. You come into town, stop in for a little play. Strictly on the up and up. Thanks. We will. That's right, Augie. clean getaway. Let's get back to town. You know, there's something smelly about all this. Now, I bet Pharaoh Wilson ties into it somewhere. That's right. Why would a ten-horn gambler be off with armed riders on a tip-off? Without Sheriff Wallace. Well, we'll know more about it when we see the sheriff. Alibi and I ought to be riding into town now. That is, uh, if you're all right, Danny. Yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. But you'd better load me up just in case. Oh, yes, Alibi. Get the ammunition out of the saddle, Danny. Days are over. It's snowflake. Howdy, snowflake. Hi, Mr. Alvar. <laughs> you sure didn't waste any time to get in here. 
No, as so soon as this Helen sold the rats, my feet began to walk. <laughs> no flake, I want you to meet my partner. <laughs> this here is Danny Moore. Howdy, Snowflake. Yeah. And Craig Corgan. Glad to see you. From what I hear, you've got a lot to live up to. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Craig. Say, Craig, how about Snowflake moving into town, hanging around the last dollar saloon? That's a good idea. You keep your eyes open and watch an hombre named Farrell Wilson and his vigilante. But remember, you don't know us. Sounds like trouble. Vigil, vigil, vigilante. Now, this will keep you eating. If you want us, we'll be at the Circle O Ranch. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Craft. <laughs> well, we'll be seeing you soon. So long. Yes, sir. Uh-oh, I nearly forgot. There's a stray horse wandering around out there, Mr. Alibi. That must be cloudy. Yeah, that's my horse. Oh, I'll get him for you. Now, you mosey right into town. Yes, sir. Now, you take it easy, Danny. All right, Alibi. Buckaroos at Cypress Hill. Uh, I'm sure glad to see you, Andy. Are you, Sheriff? Fine, I hope. Well, I'm not so sure about that. But come on, sit down. We've got a lot to talk about. Where's Denny? Oh, Denny? Well, he's out at Oliver's line shack nursing a bullet wound. You heard about the stage holdup? Yeah. This is the third time they've got away with the boss buck mine payroll. Well, Denny chased the bandits off, but he ran into a bunch of vigilantes who started shooting at him. He winged him. But then he made a getaway and met us. Hello, fellow. Hello, Sheriff. I suppose you heard about the holdup. Yeah. They got the payroll again. That's exactly what happened. I'm getting fed up with the way you're handling the law. Don't think I'm jeopardizing my position as manager of the Bostock Mine. Because I'm not. Hold your horses, fellas. You know how hard I've tried to enforce the law. And who's fought me every inch of the way? Uh, you mean uh, Farrell Wilson? What's he got to do with it? Everything. He runs the town and everybody in it. He tried to run me out because I beat his man at the last election. Every good deputy I get mysteriously leaves town. That's no worry of mine. I'm warning you, Wallace. Either get busy or get out. I'm not getting out, tell him. Well, I don't have to explain anything. You heard the whole story. Oh, fuck up, Sheriff. And we agreed to help you. We weren't fooling. And from what we just heard, we know where to start. Say, hey, uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of gambling tonight. Carol back. Well, I've got enough pictures. That's good. Bring me 50 10. We're clean out of ten, unless you wanted to break into that uh, special stack. Well, that's all right. Bring me fifty of those. No, sir. You ain't worrying, are you? You'll get it. Here's your fifty ten, sir. I'll have something soft. Yeah, make it. 
Root beer for two. That would be 50 cents. That's the smallest you have? That's the smallest I have. Break this for me. I'll be right back. That's a heap of money to be toting around. Yes, sir, a heap of money. My partner and I are buying some breeding stock, and that, of course, takes quite a roll. Change 50 for me. There's a couple of fellows out there, Farrell. Yeah, they got a bankroll. Yeah? Well, I'm always interested in bankrolls. Just stay here till I take a look. Keep your eye on that Tabasco, and I mean your eye. Here's your change for Sister Jake. Now, howdy, Farrell. Well, howdy, gent. It's all right, Jake's on the house. Glad you dropped in. Hey, did you ever get that desperate criminal you were chasing? No, but don't worry, I will. Well, we came in for a little game, but I uh, reckon we're too early. Well, you see, play starts at 9 o'clock. Stick around. Thanks, we sure will. Put on the feed bag. I'm hungry too. Fine. Everything in the house is the best. And our chef is from the highest class Kansas City Hotel. Is that so? I could go for a nice big thick steak. Me too. Take this table over here, gentlemen. Oh, thanks. Okay. Hey, chef, take these orders. Yes, sir. I'll see you later, Jen. What would be, gentlemen? So you're a chef from a big hotel in Kansas City, huh? Hmm? Oh. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. You don't like smoke, right? Thank you, sir. No, sir. Everything is peaceful, like. This steak sure is tender. The broil is a cup of thick one. Yes, sir, and they'll be special, like. Excellent. Come visit your land. Danger of duty. That's all down. Four diamonds to win. Back of clubs to lose. I place your bet. Ten of spades to win, nine of diamonds to lose. See, I'm sure lucky, Farrell. Say, uh, maybe this fall out from the tent, but looks bigger. I ought to have as much money up as Craig, <laughs> but I'm not kicking. Take over, five boys. I'm just plain unlucky tonight. Eight of hearts to win, nine of hearts to lose. Let's down the seven of diamonds win, eight of spades lose. I've never seen such luck, Tabasco. I can't stand the gap anymore. What are you going to do, close the bank? And let those two walk out with close to 3,000? Huh. Not me. I'll bet, John. Six of hearts win. Three of hearts lose. I guess it. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll accuse him of cheating. You bear me out. I guess this. You'll give him a good working over. Right. He has clubs to win. All hearts lose. 
Place your bet. Ace of spades wins. Turn of hearts lose. Let's get going. Ace of spades to win. Ten of hearts to lose. Ace of diamonds to win. Queen of hearts to lose. Place your best, boys. Ten of hearts to win. Use of diamonds to lose. Five of hearts to win. King of spades to lose. I just can't seem to lose. You lose this time, my friend. We don't allow cheating here. All right, fellas. Show them what we do to car shark. everything on the table. Um, I'm going to ride over to the line shack now, Dad, and get the rings busted. So you are go, Dory. What makes you so persistent? I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> I bet they're all tall, dark, and handsome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the cornbread burn. And uh, you can put the coffee on in about 15 minutes. You never saw you so chipper before. Well, who wouldn't be? Uh, with the rain, but she's coming for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, they rode into town yesterday. I haven't seen them since. I'm Dory Oliver. I'm Denny Moore, the other third of the range buses. Uh, won't you have a seat? Oh, no. No, you see, I rode over to invite you all for breakfast. Well, I'll be right with you, Miss Dory. Oh, it's nothing serious. Here, let me help you. How did it happen? Why, I, I, uh, I charged with some dust tomatoes throwing lead at my six year. I got alibi out of a tough spot, but it was still after me to rescue Frank. So I stalked in against withering gunfire and brought him out on my shoulder. You must be very brave. Uh, very, very strong. Nothing at all. I'm used to it. You see, Crash is always getting in a jam, either with girls or guns. And I always have to rescue him. Oh, poor brave boy. There, you're all right. There's your horses. I'll get back your cash, like Colonel said. We'll call them out and then start shooting. from last night. If you'd have taken me along, you wouldn't have lost your bankroll. That's right. Rub it in. How do you think I feel? Oh, cut the gap. You want me to lose my appetite for breakfast? Goody, when do we eat? You eat right now. Oh, what's good enough for the horses is good enough for you. Well, let's feed the horses and get riding. Let's get a horse. They ain't been shooting for quite a spell. Maybe they are of ammunition. Yeah, and maybe they're not.
last chance. Come up with your hands up or we'll come in and get you. Come on in. I'm waiting for you. I'll draw this fire from here. You make a break to the back. All right. shells, but I'm raring to finish it. Well, who were they? Now, wait a minute, boys. Dory has a nice breakfast planned for all of you. You can talk about this over your coffee. All of my cornbread is probably burned to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better be on our way. That was good as the last swipe. Swipe again. You got it all over your chin. <laughs> well, Mr. Oliver, it looks like you're going to have the range buses on your hands for the rest of the day. Make it as long as you want, boy. Plenty of room in the bunkhouse. Come in. Mr. Craig, Mr. Arbard, can I talk with you all? Excuse me. What is it, Snowflake? Here's your last night winner. I picked him up on the floor while a fight was going on. Why, Snowflake, that's great. Hey, you did have your eyes open. Didn't I tell you it was good? Hey, you better take it. Oh, well, well, what's the matter? Ain't no good? Oh, you bet it's good. Now listen carefully and get this straight. Yes, sir, Mr. Craig. Take this money over to Sheriff Wallace and have him check the serial numbers on these bills with the bank. Do you understand this, Snowflake? Yes, sir. The sheriff is to take this money to the bank and have the numbers checked on the bill. Right. And have him come and see us here tonight, for sure. And don't forget to keep your ears open. Yes, sir. My ears are open so far, my brain is in a draft. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, you must be strong. How did you ever manage to carry Craig? He's awfully big. Later. I don't want to embarrass Christ, but you hear me. <laughs> Say, you two, what's all the secrets about? Why, Chris, how much do you weigh? Oh, uh, about 205. Why? Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, ranchers don't run themselves. I have chores to do. Can I invite the Hawthorne girls over for tonight, Dan? Oh, I'll make a cake, and uh, we can have a little fun. Sure, I can stand a little fun myself. Come on, then, let's go out to the bunkhouse. I want to take a look at that children. Maybe can get you out of that swing. Oh, alibi. Come on, Denny, hurry Thanks up. Let's go, Denny. Uh, Fine, brave boy, Crash. Oh, sure. Denny's all right. But he's just a little wild. He's always getting in trouble with girls and guns. Girls and guns, huh? Mm -hmm. And I have to rescue him. Just like this last time. He got wings. And I had to ride through withering gunfire and carry him out. It's a good thing I'm always around. <laughs> You're very brave, Crash. Jane must be a great responsibility for you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come here, Pelham. It's too dangerous. I was in town, and I had to see you. I just made arrangements for another 5,000 to be sent to the mine to pay off the men. When's it to be shipped? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, there's no stage run on Friday. That's right. Coming in a buckboard. Over the old Thunder Canyon Road. And who do you think are riding as guards? Who? Sheriff Wallace and Hank Clyde. <laughs> a fine pair in this with. Go on. I threw the entire responsibility in the sheriff's lap. And if he fails, which he will, then his days will be numbered. And we're 5,000 richer. Mm-hmm. Now, well, let's call for a smoke. These are my specials. Where do you think you're going? Out. Out? With this place not cleaned up? Sure, it's my lunch hour. You're going out to eat with a kitchen full of groceries? Listen, Mr. Jake, when I eat, I eat other people's cooking. <laughs> Mr. Chair. Oh, no place. What's the matter? Did you forget some of the money? No, sir, Mr. Sheriff. You got it all. Well, I haven't got the bank's report yet. I didn't come for that, Mr. Sheriff. You know a man named Pelham? Yes. What about him? Well, he just snuck in Mr. Farrell's back door for fishing life. I figured it might be important. You bet your life it's important. I wonder how Farrell and Pelham's cooking up. You've been a lot of help, don't think? And I'll tell the range buster so when I see them tonight. Uh, uh, maybe one of these days you you give me a job as deputy, huh, Sheriff? Well, I might if you take a correspondence course in detecting. <laughs> Do you mean I gotta go back to school? <laughs> oh, Mr. Jones, your read bus is just wonderful. I feel so safe now that you're here. Yes, Mr. Taylor, you certainly do. Well, I don't imagine that either one of you know just how safe you really are. Oh, Maxie. Poor alibi. You sure haven't plenty of worries. Denny, I think you'd better go over and help him. Oh, no, that's your idea. You do it. Besides, Dory and I have a lot to talk about. Privately. That's right. I want Denny to tell me how with a bullet wound in his shoulder he could possibly carry. Oh, oh, oh. Denny, oh. Denny, what's wrong? Oh, I just had the most gosh awful pain in my shoulder. It's all right now. Hey, Dory, uh, what about that song you were going to sing for? I will. But first, first I want to crash the globe with the best you may. And tell them how, in the face of glittering gunfire, he rushed in and rescued. <coughs> oh. 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 oh, oh! Just touch him, I enjoyed it. Yeah, like rescued, you said. Rescued who? Well, I was going over and rescue. <laughs> Go over and rescue Alice. Oh hey. no, you don't. You stay right here. I'll take care of that. Denny, did you really have a gunfight? What was it, Bobby? No. The poor crazy boy loses his boy. <laughs> Do tell me all about it. I'm just dying to hear. Did you kill many bandits? I just think they actually had a shot at you. I'm so excited. Oh, but Dory, don't worry about her. I'm here. Say, we're getting the runaround. Dory promised us to fall. That's right. And no more stories from Dory Singh. All right, I'll see. You can tell of your adventures afterwards. 
Well, hello, Mr. Alvary, just in time. Dory's going to sing. Splendid. What are you going to sing, Miss Dory? The Cairns Mexico. My baby, my mind to change my way. And quit the crowd that was so gay. And leave my home for a little while. To travel west for many a mile. Of May. I left for Paris, too far away. I left my darling far behind. He said his heart was only mine. <laughs> when I was gone, he made me so. I thought of him, but I could not go. I wrote a letter. few words with the boys alone. What? You were right, Crash. Nine of the bills you got from Ferro came from the stolen payroll. First time I saw that tin horn, I had my doubts. Then those vigilantes he was heading were fakes. Yeah, but how did Ferro know that payroll was on the stage? Well, that's fairly easy, too. Helm, manager of the mine, had a private meeting with Ferro in his back room this morning. Came in the back way secret life. Well, how did you find that out? Your boy Snowflake told me. I told you, good. Tomorrow, there's a duplicate payroll going to the mine. But not by stage. Well, how is it going? By buckboard over Thunder Canyon Road. Hank Clyde and I are riding as guards. Boy, I think we're in for a kill. Sheriff, you ride with the buckboard, and we three boys will ride together. Well, I reckon this is the most likely spot. We can watch the road here for miles around. Jenny, you take that west ride. Alibi, you watch to the east. And Dad and I will keep our eyes peeled here. Oh, 
Fab, I'll you take less than Jim with you. Stay close to the road. When you spot the buckboard, start firing to draw the sheriff off. We'll be up the road a little further to finish the job. Now get up your masks and let's get going. Hey, they're separating. Four of them coming this way. Let's get back where we can see what they do. down the road as well, and the other right below us. I get that, boys. Party's about to start. Just the way you planned it, Farrell.
drop that gun. been waiting for. I've got you dead to rights this time. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> well, Alibi. Goodbye. I sure do thank you, boy, for the job you've done. And I never saw a job done quicker. Oh, it wasn't any thanks. Both Crash and Denny. Yeah. And Will's Dory. It's not about your strength long enough. Now, uh, try it. All right, now? Sure, sir. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Lori, come and say goodbye to Alibi. Coming, Dad. Hello, Phil. You ain't gonna get away without me. <laughs> 